Hello, welcome to Scratch Theory Printing. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Workout Slicer's beta version 2.3.1. Let's scratch to this topic. A couple of weeks ago, Workout Slicer released an alpha version of version 2.3.1, but today, Workout Slicer just released the beta version, which has improvement from the alpha version and added a couple of new features. In this video, we're going to look at that and we're going to do some test print covering the new feature that they have added to the beta version. It's really cool. But enough of that, let's take a look at Workout Slicer and then let's take a look at what I have printed using the new feature. Version 2.3.1 beta, they added a new feature that allows users to insert extra solid infill. I don't know why, but I've been wanting to do this on 3D slicers for so long now. This has always been a feature that I wanted in my 3D slicers, but I just don't know how to do it. And I guess it's just not there, but now it's there and I'm going to use it. I just love this. Some parts do need it to be solid and some part you just don't need that much infill in there. So you just want to quickly print it. Example, five or five, number one, insert one solid layer every five layers. Ah, there we go. So here you also has insert solid layer at layer 179. So you can specify where you want the solid layer to be at. They have a warning here, solid infill can take longer than the surrounding layers. We are in workout slicers right now. I am just going to add a cube in here so that we can play around with this. Okay, so it looks like it's all the way down here. Insert solid layer. It's right here. It's not in the infill. It's in the events down here. Put that in there and see if anything changes. Ah, look at that. Look at that. So this is layer one, two, three, four, five. And layer five, it puts the solid infill, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, another solid infill. So, so for every five layer, it puts a solid infill in there, which is amazing. And I think you can do this with any infill pattern that you want to. Yes, you can do this with any infill pattern. So we're going to put 10 now. For every 10 layer, it's going to have one solid line. But if you change this to five, Every 10 layer, it's going to put five solid layers. So here is 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all solid infill. And for the next one, it's going to be regular infill. Every 10 layer, it has this. Apparently, it does not really allow you to like choose where you want the infill to be. You have to be very specific. There's no like from layer 5 to layer 25, be solid infill. I want that to be honest. I actually want that option. It's kind of like that, but it's not really like what I wanted. Because after layer 18, there's no more infill. But if you look at here, layer 5, it has an infill. And then layer 9, it also has two solid infill. And after that, layer 18, there's no more solid infill. But maybe if you wanted to, maybe you can actually do this, right? Okay, so I guess maybe this is how you do it. You have one comma and then this. So let's take a look at this. So the first layer is solid infill. And then layer nine, it's going to do eight solid infill. After that, there's no more solid. Okay, so maybe that's how you do it. So the cube here has 175 layers. So I'm going to do it about halfway ish through, which is about what? Halfway is about 87. So we're going to do um, 77, do 10 layers. And let's see. Okay, all of these are infill and then at layer 77 it starts the solid infill okay so this is how you do it okay that's exactly what i wanted so we're gonna do zero wall loop and yes this is exactly what i'm talking about this is what i wanted let's say you print tpu you want the bottom here to be soft the top to be soft but the middle to be like not soft so this is what i wanted and it works like that. That's how you do it. You're supposed to put a number here, comma, and then the layer between where you want the solid to be. Let me go ahead and print this out and I'll show you how this looks. And voila, look at this. I 3D printed this with Workout Slicer's beta version 2.3.1. My machine is still running in the background, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. For this model here, I deleted all the outer wall, the inner wall, and just leave the infill for us to see. This is 3D honeycomb, and look at this. It's exactly what I put it into Workout Slicer's. From the first couple layers to this point here, do normal infill, and then the middle there, do solid infill, and then the top here, do normal infill again. I can see so many applications with this, especially in TPU or flexible filament. 
this is PTG, so there's no flex at all. It's like super rough. But I feel like models like this or more creative model, something like this, it's gonna go a long way with 3D printing now that you can create something like this. You want the middle part to be very stiff, strong, but the other part, maybe you want it to be squishy or maybe you can use TPU to print this like a spring. Maybe, right? Maybe you can use this as a spring for an RC car project or some other things act like a spring, but I don't think it's gonna replace spring itself. It's just like a fun thing to do. Maybe you just make a squishy cue or something like that. But this is the first taste of Orga Slicer's new infill, solid infill together. This is amazing. I have so many things in mind to do with this. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to leave a like in this video. Leave a comment down below if you still have any questions or how would you make this better? How would you use this feature in your own 3D printing? And don't forget to become a member of the YouTube channel. And as always, keep on 3D printing.